So they're in the lab. They're testing out the um, the arm of RoboCop, and they say it's 400 foot pounds of something. Let's watch. Go ahead, shake his hand. Oh, God, he's got a hell of a grip. It's 400 foot pounds. He could crush every bone in your hand. So first off, she said 400 foot pounds. To me, foot okay. pounds is the unit of energy or torque. Pretty sure it's not energy. So it's gotta be torque, which yep. makes sense. Yep. So the hand is somehow applying 400 foot pounds of torque. Is that a lot? Is that reasonable? Okay, so my, my experience with with foot pounds is from working on cars. Mm -hmm. And so you get you get a torque wrench, you get, like you mm -hmm. dial it into the right amount of torque and then you twist, 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 click. And that tells you mm -hmm. how tight you've turned something. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah, torque is like the turning force. Yeah. And so 400 foot pounds, that's like, that's, that's a lot compared to turning a bolt. Because depending on what type of bolt you use, you're looking for like 60 to 120, depending on the application. Okay. But what is that for human strength? Like, is that a normal human hand or is that like a, like a holy Hercules? Like you're, you're, you're strong. Yeah. So can we look up human hand strength? Human torque strength? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Human torque yeah, strength. Yeah. Human, uh, okay, I guess. Yeah. So this. It's saying it's a torque and the wait, mean wait, wait, for wait, wait, a wait. Newton meter. So, so, so wait, wait, okay. Too many things going on. <laughs> One yeah. is, it's RoboCop generates 400 which is in this range but that's foot pounds foot pounds and this is newton meters so this is newton this meter. is scientific international and so force times distance so that doesn't help me so it's mm. the same unit types multiplied together a force times a distance yeah but it's a different unit so let's, let's, we can't compare maybe, directly yeah maybe it will handle it there's lots of information here. Hang on, hang on. There's lots of stuff. Okay, so there's grip strength, mm -hmm. turning a circular knob or twisting a lid, pulling a horizontal bar. None of these are quite what we want. We want we want we, we want a handshake, right? A handshake is like a squish motion, which sounds like gripping strength. Because okay, gripping yeah, strength true. is this, uh -huh. but here the the data is in newtons, not a newton meter. Uh, right, right. Does that make sense? So do we, yeah. when you, when you grip something, do you care about the torque or the force of the grip? I see what you're saying. So your, your fingers are creating a torque. So anytime, yeah. anytime you get this rotation motion, it's creating a torque because you're making some type of spin. And if you, I guess you could say like, if your knuckle, the axis of your knuckles was, was mm -hmm. a, well, the line of your knuckles, if it was an axis, then you could say like, if I only applied force with my fingertips, then you mm -hmm. have, you have an axis, you have a moment arm, you have a force that is a torque, mm -hmm. but it's just, that would be, that would be such a weird way to describe someone grip. Like how much grip do they have their fingertips? Like, unless you're like a very specific rock climber. Um, I, I think this, I think this makes sense. Like this, this is a measurement of how much force your hand can generate when it crushes something. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, I think that's fine. Okay, so then the the fact that the scientist in the lab said foot pounds, okay, which is a torque, is not quite grip strength. It's kind of something else. Yeah. Um, in fact, I don't know. I mean, we can convert a force into a torque or a torque into a force by dividing out the distance. So say, say I have, uh, here we go. Here's a chopstick <laughs> or, you know, here's a pen that I'll show it better. So if I have a pivot point, I'm going to pinch with my fingers. I can apply a force here and that would feel, and that feels different than if I apply a force here. Mm -hmm. And if I know how much, how much force is generated from my, and my fingers in order to keep it still, I could figure out how much force I'm putting with my finger here by dividing out this length. But what would the length be for the hand? It's going to be related to hand size, which is finger right. length, right? I guess. So a larger hand, you make it divide by a larger number or multiply by a larger number. But, and then a smaller hand, you're going to multiply by a smaller number. But that's kind of the wrong way to think about it because for the same muscle force, you're going to be able to apply less torque because you have a longer arm. Mm -hmm. 
So it's really even, not supposed to be a torque. It's really I care about what what can my force right. be with my fingers. Right. I don't really care what the what the length of the fingers are. If I want right. to crush I'll, something, I care about the force. Perfect. So what does that mean for RoboCop with his 400 foot bounds? I did think we calculate. If, oh, yeah, we did. Okay, yeah, we looked yeah, this we up. Did. So we just got a unit converter. So 400 mm -hmm. foot pounds comes out to be 542 Newton meters. Yeah. So that's still a torque. Mm. Well, I mean, what's an average finger length? I don't know, say like two centimeters in the midpoint. If you're crushing in the midpoint of the fingers, oh, I see what you're saying. Because you don't you don't actually apply force with your fingertips. It's like no. a, it's like everywhere. It's like a gosh. Okay, so not two centimeters. One centimeter is like your fingernail. So uh, three or four. I mean, there's not that much of a difference. So, say three, three centimeters maybe. It's okay. okay from the knuckle. I see it now. Three. Yep. Okay. Yep. From the knuckle, three. So we take. Gosh, so so 500, 500, 500, wait, do you want to do 540 divided by <coughs> so the length, but in meters? No, I guess what I'm saying, oh yeah, yeah, that's a good idea to compare the force. So, so what, did I, what number did I say? 542? 542, 542 divided by the length, but in meters. So three centimeters is 0. 0.03. Yeah. Oh. Holy crap. 18K. What is a normal to... human? <laughs> there we go. Robocop's All right. super strong. <laughs> okay. Let's get let's get let's get a little bit better. Divided by what was that number? 64? 64. 64. He has the All equivalent right. strength hand strength of 282 people. Okay. That's strong. That'll crush your hand. Okay. I think I think we I think we figured it out. Mm-hmm. So that'll, that'll crush, it's 400 foot pounds. A lot of people's hands. <laughs> yeah. 400 foot pounds of torque, I think, is an awkward unit, but making yeah. some assumptions about finger size of Robocop, three centimeters to the midpoint from the knuckle, we can convert that to a force, which I think is the more convenient unit for grip strength. And then we compared that to an average human grip strength, and we said it's 282 times bigger. So Robocop is yeah. strong. Crushing things. Crushing things. That means anytime he interacts with stuff, like his gun or a doorknob, he's like just super gentle. <laughs> like super gentle, yeah. He needs he needs lots of fine calibration at well below his maximum strength. That's tricky. That's a good robot. Mm.